Spring Valley. This fire is burning in the Kaibab Forest about 11 miles northeast of Williams. Spring Valley is about three miles north of that, and that's the area that firefighters are evacuating tonight. They're sending people to a, a consolidated school called Maine Consolidated in Parks, Arizona. Now, Sky Fox was over this fire late this afternoon, not long ago, and again, 800 acres have burned so far. It's whipped up quickly, winds of about 30 miles an hour. More than 100 firefighters are on the scene working to contain the flames. This is burning in Ponderosa Pine and Conifer. Usually, crews would use airplanes and choppers to drop water and retardant, but for the most part, they've been grounded because of the winds. Chad Black is a photographer who works in northern Arizona. He's been up to the fire line today. He joins us live on the telephone. Chad, thanks for spending some time with us. What's the situation up there? Paint a picture for us. John, basically what's going on right now, the firefighters have a pretty volatile situation on their hands. Uh, the wind gusts up here are anywhere between 40 and 50 miles an hour. Um, you know, adding to the mix of very, very low visibility. Um, as you mentioned, um, air crews are having a difficult time uh, getting to the fire. However, uh, when I was just out there about 20 minutes ago, they are actively uh, pursuing the fire with helicopters uh, dipping out of small ponds in the area there. Um, I did have a chance to speak with some of the residents uh, in the area that were about to be evacuated, and most were very concerned, uh, mainly not for their property, but the animals that are out there. A lot of people in these areas have a lot of livestock, um, and a few even said they would not evacuate because of the livestock that they have out there. Chad, when you were talking to the residents, three miles seems like a long ways away. When you're there, does it seem like the fire is a lot closer? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, it, the smoke does make it seem like it's closer than it really is, but um, with that said, the fire moves very quickly. With 40-mile-an-hour winds, a fire can jump, you know, hundreds of yards in a matter of seconds, and uh, I think that's what most people don't realize. If you're within, you know, three miles of a fire of this size with these winds, um, you're in danger for, for quite a wide radius around that area, and... Uh, uh, I can definitely see where uh, search and rescue with Coquino County is uh, um, uh, is justified in, in putting these evacuations in order. Chad, tell me a little bit about Spring Valley. You know, it's about 1,300 residents, some 500 homes. Most of these homes are owner-occupied. So these people live in the area and work not far away. Is that about the size of it? Yeah, if you're coming through Flagstaff, you pass through Belmont, and uh, Green Valley is just past that. Um, unlike a lot of homes in this area, these homes are, are inhabited year-round by people. These aren't uh, uh, the typical summer home that you see up near Flagstaff. Um, these people have their whole lives invested in these area, in, in these homes, and uh, it's not as easy for them to just pack up and you know jump in the car and go somewhere else. Uh, um, a lot of them do live here. Um, they're small communities. Uh, they're on acreage plots. Uh, there's not much subdivision out here, but some very big, nice houses. Uh, like I said earlier, with a lot of horse property right. as well. Chad, Chad Black, Northern Arizona photographer. Chad, nice job. Appreciate it. Let's